lot of height in the throw and height as well in the leaps. Difficult when the ribbon just gets a little tangled. Dynamism is there. To wait a little for that, catch and adjust her footing, but nothing huge. Very nice snaps round of the ribbon to coincide with the music. Always a real pleasure to watch a ribbon final. There's so much opportunity for creativity. What a nice reception as well, Tina Avarina is getting from the crowd here in the Centennial Hall. Not surprising if you had the opportunity to witness her club's routine. And she's in pretty good spirits as well, I would say. And of course, her it's so easy to talk about the Avarinas as a single entity, as twins. But the reality is they're very different gymnasts. They have different specialisms. And they are both individually so exciting as prospects if you're a russian rhythmic gymnastics fan you must be feeling very confident indeed about russia's continued domination globally in this wonderful sport Still six to come. We're having a bit of a laugh, a bit of a giggle. Coach and gymnast. I think you would be happy if you were Russian rhythmic gymnastics coach. A lot to smile about. But no score yet to smile about. They wait and they wait. Still to come, we have Katsarina Halkina, Eviana Vladinova, Arena Avarina, Linoy Ashram, Ksenia Mustafaeva, and Laura Zeng. Plenty of opportunity for drama in a ribbon final. So unwieldy is the apparatus. Has to have a minimum length of, I believe, six metres. There's a lot that they're talking about there. See them watching the slow motion replay, the judges. And although it can be a rather drawn out process waiting for these scores, it's really important for the judges to take the time that they need to make sure they've got it right. These are medals we're talking about. There are a variety of compulsory elements in a ribbon routine. Judges are looking for certain shapes, flicks, circles, snakes, spirals, along with the throws as well. So 
have to go back and be absolutely sure that they've seen everything that they're looking for. That they're giving it the right evaluation, both difficulty and execution. As we've already seen, sometimes that high difficulty score, if the execution isn't quite there, can really benefit a gymnast. But it does work the other way around as well. Gymnasts can have a lower difficulty score but be so secure on their execution that they end up well positioned on the leaderboard. 16.8 is the score for Dina Avarina. She's up quite a bit there from her qualification.